Hi everyone, it's Avril here and we are on day two of my tips and suggestions for reinventing you and welcome. I'm just going to give it a few moments just to let anybody join who's joining. I know there's been a lot of sign-ups for the replays, which is fantastic. So I'm guessing that there might be more people downloading the replays than in the chat room here, in the live stream rather, live. Um, but if you're here, welcome and thanks for dropping by. Today we are going to be talking about the past and the past is a big part of reinventing you. Um, yesterday we kicked things off, we kind of just warmed up actually yesterday I guess because I haven't done a live stream like this before and I wasn't sure how it was going to go. So yesterday was really just a warm up talking about commitment and making that commitment to yourself. And what you'll find is that throughout this whole theme that I'm doing this week, commitment is absolutely key and it underpins everything that we do here with Reinvent You. So today it is going to be all about the past and this is such an important step that you really need to start thinking about when it comes to reinventing you. Now, I know we probably have all heard it before that letting go of the past and moving on is so important in order for you to grow. But I can't emphasize it enough how just how important it is and how committed that you've got to be to actually let go of the past. Because from my own personal experiences, letting go of the past was never an easy thing for me to do. Yet, in order for us to really begin to live a happy and joyful life, it's something that we must do in order for us to move on. If we don't let go of that past and let go of all the things that we've been carrying, then we're not going to have any space to allow new things to come in. And what's more, what happens is if we keep holding on to that past and keep it here in our hands all the time or in front of our minds, then we've no, we've no room to create new positive experiences that will uplift us. What we're doing is we're living in the past and we're focusing on that. So all our experience in the moment are based on the emotions and the feelings that we have about our past. Everything that we do, all the new stuff that we create is clouded by that. And I guess that is you know, what was happening for me in my own past and what I also see for many of the clients that I work with. You know, my dad used to say to me, Avril, why can't you just let go? Why can't you just, you know, move on and let all that stuff go, just forget it? And I used to get so frustrated and angry, you know, really angry. Like, how dare anybody ask me to just forget what happened to me? Because what happened to me was a big deal. But eventually I came to the realisation that I really did need to get a grip here and let go of some of that stuff and spend time working on what was the best way for letting go once and for all of all that past stuff that had happened to me. And not just the stuff that had happened to me, all my past mistakes, you know, as well as holding on to all the stuff that had happened to me and, you know, and been done to me by other people, I was holding on to all these mistakes that I had made in my life and, and virtually beating myself up mentally for all the mistakes and all the messes that I had made of things. So I had to learn to really make a conscious effort and choose to let them go. And one of the things that, I can't remember where I read it, it obviously in a book or something that I've read, I've read so many books, but I remember reading something about 
the past, you choosing to hold on to the past and not the other way around. And that really struck a chord for me. And I remember when I read that, it was almost like a little light bulb moment. It's like every moment I am choosing to take hold of the past. It's not that the past taken hold of me, it's that I'm taking hold of the past. And when I made that realisation, I guess it became a bit easier for me to let go of the past. So if, if you're struggling, if you're someone who's struggling to let go of the past and you want to reinvent things, I want you to know this, and this is really important. The past is just a story that you're telling yourself. And that might be hard to take right now if you're in a situation where you just do not want to let go of things. But the past is just a story that you're telling yourself. It's make-believe. And the reason for that is that it's not in your reality right now. So if it isn't real, if it isn't here happening and tangible, you know, like this pen here, then it can only be, be make-believe. It can only be a thought that is there in your head. So I want you to I want to challenge you to start thinking about your past in that way. That any time you find yourself getting sucked back into that place of remorse or regret or self-blame or blaming others, I want you to take a moment to just stop and acknowledge that every time that you're doing this, you are the one who's choosing to take hold of that past. And then when you do that, just ask yourself, how does this serve me? How does this serve the moment, moment I am in right now and the future that I want to create? And when you stop and take time to do that, then what you'll find is that letting go of that past becomes easier and easier. Now, I'm not saying it's a simple thing to do immediately because it took me time. You know, all these tips that I'm sharing with you are all things that took me time to practice and commit to and to do. And if you do them, like any muscle, the more that you do them, the easier it will become. And the stronger the momentum will become, the more strength you'll have inside to be able to stop in that moment. So I don't know where you're at in life if you're watching this. And if you're watching this to get some tips to move you forward and reinvent things. You know, you can create any story about yourself. You can create anything that you want to create about yourself. You do not have to be defined by that past. You know, the, the person that you are today is going to be a much different person to the person you are tomorrow. You're not the same person as you were, you know, 10 years ago, five years ago, two seconds ago. In fact, I would even go as far as to say, just listening to this here now, these words and whatever you take for it, from it, if it resonates with you, then when this little live stream's finished, you're not going to be the same person either. Something inside of you will have changed. But only you have the power to acknowledge that and allow those changes to come through. And it's almost like we've got two choices. We can stay stuck here and in this place that we this space that we've created for ourselves and constantly re reliving things that have happened to us in the past or things that we've done in the past or things that people have said to us perceptions that others might have of us we can we can, we've got a choice we can either go back into that and allow all of that to define us all that stuff that is no longer real because it doesn't exist in the here and now we can allow all that to define us 
Or we can choose to say, well, that isn't me anymore. Today, when I wake up, I'm a completely different person. Each night you sleep and dream, your brain reorganises and reprocesses all the thoughts, all the emotions and all the experiences that you've had in that day. So is that when you wake up the next day, you have the opportunity to present yourself based on those learnings in a different way. Every one of us has that ability. Very few of us take, take control of that and use it in a way to constantly reinvent who we are. Every day is literally a new page in your book. And that quote, I can't remember who said it, but there's a quote that you can literally start a brand new page every day. And you can do that, but you've got to consciously choose to do it. And you've got to make that commitment to yourself that that is what you'll do. That, you know, you're completely committed to getting up every day and allowing the past to stay where it belongs in the past. Now it might be that you've got some work to do in order to shift into that place. You know, there might be some work around forgiveness or um, forgiving other people or self-forgiveness, whatever it is, you might have some work to do in order to be able to shift into that place of allowing the past to remain in the past and remain just a story but if you do that work and then you consciously choose in every moment to let go of these things, then you'll create the space that you need to be the person that you want to be. I mean, imagine who, who you could be or the potential of that person just waiting inside of you to be birthed. Imagine the potential of that if you were able to once and for all put the baggage of the past down. So, a little tip. Every day when you find yourself, it might not be every day, there might just be moments in your life when the past starts slowly creeping back. When you find yourself in those situations, my little tip would be to just simply stop and just ask yourself, how is this serving me? How is this serving me and supporting me in my life right now? And I can almost guarantee that the answer to that question will be, it's not serving me. And then all you need to do in that moment is say, is just ask yourself, well, what can I do? What is it that I can do to enable me to be the person that I want to be. Because the person that you want to be, whether you believe it or not, is in there. But it's not getting a chance to come out because it doesn't have the space. Because it's being dragged down by all that stuff from the past. It's been held hostage because you keep taking hold of the past and allowing the past to run your life and not that person that's in there waiting to be set free. So, if there's anything that you would like to ask me or anything that you'd like to say, I've, had, I've actually had a number of lovely messages from the live that I did yesterday um, and hopefully I've got back to everybody if I, if I haven't I'll do my best to get back to you today it was a bank holiday yesterday so well actually a local holiday here so the kids were off and I didn't have um, the opportunity to check up on all my ma messages and mail so if you've got a question or you want to share anything with me then pop it up here on the feed and I will make sure that I check that feed 
after this live recording and get back to you. And yeah, just take some time today to think about where in your life you've been allowing the past to keep you stuck. You know, it might just be a comment or a remark that someone said to you. Sometimes that can be the most damaging, actually. You know, it's not always, you know, big, massive experiences that we've had. You know, sometimes it's just a small comment. And in many respects, and you know, when my... My, my dad used to say to me, why can't you just let all that stuff go from your childhood? It, it was actually his comment that had the biggest hold over me more than anything else at times. And the more I focused on, you know, him expecting me to let go of all that stuff, the more it fueled and powered this anger inside me and resentment inside me that I felt towards him for, for him not understanding. So get really clear on what it is that's keeping you stuck and what it is that you need to let go of because sometimes it's not the actual an actual event per se but everything else that went around around that thing. So I'm not sure if that will help you today. I think it probably will because I certainly know that it's helped me. But like I say... If you've got any questions or you want to share anything, I'm here. I'm in and out of the group all the time. And if you're engaging in that group, I will be right behind you, engaging right back and supporting you wherever I can. And remember, I have my little book that you can go onto my website at neelandspersonaldevelopment.com. And I also have a new website, which is in the process of being built just for the, re the re reinvention method and the reinvent you works that I'm going to be sharing in the months and hopefully the years to come and that's just avrilgill.com so you can go in it's still a work in progress but you're welcome to go in and have a look so if you haven't already go and download my book and read that chapter on letting go of the past and you can tell me how you did with it and fire me any questions. And I look forward to connecting with you very soon. Take care now and I shall see you tomorrow for day three of Reinventing You. Bye for now.